he was, uh, he had $20. He's my baby here. Yeah. <laughs> um, he had twenty dollars, and he he went uh, wanted to get that that radio so bad. He just kept going back and forth, back and forth. Until I, until I finally just told him, you know, go get it, you know. And he's four years older than me, and I'm like like uh, six, and he's ten, you know. Um, here we are trying to, uh, or some someone in that area. Maybe I was seven, and he was eleven. I don't know. He's four years old with me. But, uh, he ended up getting his radio, but he was so nervous that the next, that we went to get the groceries, he got Diet Mountain Dew instead of the Ragbar, which he, he didn't want to drink anyway, but anyway. Uh, okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, Do you still have contact with the people? Well, not really. I mean, I don't have a car to go visit. Uh, but as I said earlier, that I went to go see my uh, parents when uh, Scott Rogers was up here. I'll see the other videos for information on that. Uh, can a stranger become a part of the Amish culture? No. That is a, kind of a tough one. There are some some that have uh, have become a part of it, but very very rarely. And now I'm also let me remind you that I'm speaking of uh, one sect of the Amish. There are several sects of uh, Amish, and I was from what I would consider the second strictest one. There is one that's stricter than, than the Swarth Troopers, and that is uh, the one that requires all horse-drawn uh, power. I mean, they don't allow any ho uh, engines whatsoever, including to wash your clothes. They uh, have everything powered by windmill, water, and horses. They don't have any any uh, uh, engine power. Not as work troopers do allow horse horses and uh, and engines, but they don't allow cars. And there's others who, who do allow um, cars, and there's some that say they allow cars that you or say say you own a business and you can own the own the truck but you can't have it in your name. You put the insurance on and you hire somebody to drive it, everything. That is the way they run their businesses. I work for one of those guys, by the way. That, that those are the old order. Okay. Do the Amish have uh, any contact with the outside world? Yes, to some extent. Yes, they do have some outside good contact with the outside world. They do have, especially say if they want to go have uh, use the phone. They use. <laughs> Some use their fr freezers to freeze water, and and they have to have if they're gonna have a driver there, yeah, they're gonna have to have somebody from the outside to drive this vehicle. Or say that there's a emergency in the family that they need to go to the hospital or whatever. Yeah, they they do have contact with the outside world. When you are a stranger, a teenager, can you go out and see the world? Okay, there's um, 
again, that's the different sects that uh, have different rules. Uh, uh, for example, the Swords and Troopers don't allow cars whatsoever as far as for you to drive. You're not allowed to have a driver's license because that would be a picture and you're not allowed to have a picture taken. Now, that is not, like the old orders, they have, I'm not sure how they do it, but I was told by this one employer that I was working for, as I previously mentioned, that they were, had ID cards, just like state ID cards that I would have, only they have a, uh, have written on on their card instead of uh, a picture it says ballot without photo written on it because they didn't allow photos so uh, so their uh, photo ID is ballot without photo which is kind of weird but that's I guess some kind of uh, deal they made with the state or whatever I'm not sure how that works um, okay, uh, getting back to the why of, of why I left, let's uh, talk about that for a minute. Uh, when I was, um, let's, let's go back to when I was um, 13 years old when I first left. Uh, my sister had left, well, she was planning on leaving, I guess I should say. She was married, she had, and her husband had a car, and, well, none of the Amish knew that, but they knew that, that uh, some relatives were having a church service at one of my cousin's house, and among those was uh, my sister. So, uh, my sister lived next door to us on our property. So, that morning in June 2004, I woke up and I didn't uh, know what was going on, but I was told that my uh, family was supposed to move over to uh, my brother's place where are they are currently living at now um, and even my dad did not know about this supposed to move and so there was this kind of um, me being 13 my sister 15 we were uh, by the way I'm from a family of 11 so I have uh, a lot of uh, brothers and sisters I'm the youngest. So we, so we were uh, pretty upset, and we, we decided we were gonna run away. Now, being 13, I couldn't find a job. There was no, there was no way I could do anything. Uh, nobody would even hire me at that at that age, and uh, so I 